Hi, I hope that you're well, or if you're new, thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Matt from Distant Sun Studios, and today is part two of our three-part video series into Luna's latest update, version 1.8. In part one, we covered Bounce in Place. Today, we're looking at the new browser tabs. There will also be four bonus tips towards the end, so look out for those. Okay, let's go. The browser in Luna has been completely revamped. You'll now see three dedicated tabs, tracks, plugins, and presets. You can toggle the browser open and closed using the browser icon in the top left corner, or with the back tick key on the keyboard. I'm sure you'll be quite familiar with the tracks tab already. So let's start with the plugins tab. It has everything that you'd expect, plus some fantastic new features. Starting at the top, you'll find a search bar to quickly locate plugins and the categories list to narrow your search and browse by type. There's also a global favorites icon to quickly access your most used plugins and instruments. To add a new plugin to the favorites list, just click on the favorite icon to the right hand side of the plugin name. We've also now got an icon view, which neatly follows the design used in Luna's mixing page giving you a more visual way to explore plugins. This is great when hunting for a specific plugin, especially if you're like me and can't always remember the name of everything in your plugin library. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We cover lots of fun stuff to do with Universal Audio's Luna. Navigating the plugins list is really fast, as you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. The up and down arrow keys take you from one plugin to the next, then the left and right arrow keys can be used to collapse and expand folders. You can also use the shortcut option click to open and close all the folders at once. There are now several ways that you can assign a plugin to a track or tracks, which is really cool. Just press return or click add to apply the plugin. This will then be added to the first available insert slot on your track. You can drag a plugin onto a specific insert slot or drop it directly onto a track header, which in turn will again add it to the first available insert. If you want to add the same plugin across multiple tracks at once, first of all, make sure that you're in Luna's mixer view and then right click on the plugin. Now click assign and you can just drag over the green add icons over the insert slots. Firstly, use shift to select multiple tracks, then click on an insert slot and you'll notice that at the bottom of the plugin browser, under the Apply To header, the selector is highlighted yellow. When you click on a plugin, it will now be applied across the selected tracks. If you want to apply the same plugin across all the tracks, click on an insert, but this time click on the Apply To All button, and now the selected plugin will go across all the tracks. To quickly remove a plugin, Right click and select remove, or you can also just drag the plugin off the insert slot. Finally, if you want to change out a specific plugin for something different, just right click on the plugin, select assign, and now you can make your new selection. You can also change out to a new plugin directly from any plugin GUI. Just click the three dots in the top left hand corner, and here under the options header, you can again select a sign. You may have also noticed that when I clicked on the three dots, the first section of the drop down menu showed all the plugins on this track. From here, you can select a different plugin from the list, and Luna will automatically change it for you. This is a great way to move fast when making adjustments to a plugin chain without having to manage multiple plugins on the screen. Next up, let's look briefly at the presets tab. Here you'll find all your track and instrument presets, organized into four categories, audio, instrument, bus, and multi-track. In the third and final video in this series on Luna's 1.8 update, I'll be taking a deep dive into track presets, how to create them, and most importantly, how they can transform your workflow. In the meantime, why not watch a video from our Everything Universal Audio and Luna playlist? I'm Matt from Distance Sun Studios. Cheers. Yeah.